I'm like absolutely bloody terrified, you know. Okay, you ready to hit the road? Mm -hmm. Wait, where are the bikes? Six hundred days on the road, still going strong. Can you still lift up your leg? I can still just about lift up my leg, <laughs> but everything is quite sore to be honest. What is this trail doing to me? It's giving me some good off-road skills. That's what it's doing. Oh, thank you, Ewan. Still keep going despite what we're doing to them, hey? <laughs> <laughs> they still keep turning on for us every morning. Good morning, good morning. Look at that. Ready to go, hey? Oh, yeah, stick up. <laughs> you were riding in the rain yesterday, no? Oh, God. It just opened up. As soon as we left, we walked out the door, it's like raining straight away, and it was like that. Crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> But, yeah. I mean, look what we've got now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All, the, <laughs> <laughs> all our shoes are wet since day one. I think we're probably going to reach a muddy puddle very shortly. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> see you guys. Have see a, you. Have a good day, yeah? No cars, no cars. All right. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It is day 17 on the Trans Euro Trail, riding 2,000 miles off-road through England and Wales to reach the border to Scotland. And we are here on the edge of the Snowdonia National Park in Wales. And we've woken up to an amazing day of blue skies and sunshine again, which was certainly not the case yesterday. But yesterday, we took a whole day off to stay inside and hide from the bad weather. And it was actually so nice yesterday to be sitting, doing a little bit of editing whilst looking outside. And it was just windy and rainy and absolutely disgusting weather outside. Yeah, I'm so happy that we could have spent the whole day just looking out of the window and watching the rain. Yeah, meanwhile, all our kit, everything remained completely dry. And now we can start this morning totally fresh, which is absolutely beautiful. So I'm excited for a solid, solid day of riding today on the trail. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and today we are aiming to finish as much of the Welsh section of this trail as possible, getting as close as we can to the border to England, which is here. Yes, now we have passed through the main part of the Snowdonia National Park. We have turned eastwards and we're heading back towards England. Yes, back to England! <laughs> yeah, and hopefully back to some trails which are a little bit more manageable for us. <laughs> because Wales has tested these bikes to the limit. We have had water crossings that were too deep for our air intake. We've had rock steps that were too high for our clearance. And we've had hills that were too steep for our 11 horsepower engines. So honestly, if you want to know the limits of your skills or your bike, just come and ride a few green lanes in Wales. You'll see definitely where your limits are. <laughs> this one here. Yeah, I think this is the trail. But they always start out like quite nice, like a little road with a little gate. And then like literally five minutes after you start the trail, it's like, here's a giant series of rock steps. We have to go into it with a sense of adventure. <laughs> we could do this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Seriously, it looks like a, it looks like a riverbed. <laughs> oh my God, look, there's a stream running down the road. There was so much rain yesterday, probably going to get some really, really deep puddles. Took quite a while before the next gate came, eh? <laughs> Not. Quite nice when you're two people and you've got a, all of this gate opening and gate closing. One of us opens the gate, then I can go through, and then I just have to get off one time to close the gate. But when you're on your own, you literally have to get off once, open the gate, go through, get off again, close the gate, and then continue. Definitely helps to be two people. Guys, can we just appreciate this area here? I'm so blown away by the beauty of Wales. Wow. Uh 
OK。Trail just gets better and better. It's so nice riding here. It's a little bit challenging, but not too crazy that you think that you're gonna die in a second. It's like very, very nice trail. I love it. Another renovation project for us, Lavi. You can't ask for a better location for a little cottage, can you? Come on, it just needs some windows, a little bit of roof, maybe a few more walls. <sighs> Okay, now we've come across some rocks. Uh, oh. And a really nice downhill. You know, a second ago when I said I love the trail so much, this is um, not one of those. No, we are still in Wales at the moment, which means we've got these crazy little rocky downhill bits pretty much every day. Yeah, and they're really, really, really hard to, um, to do. Oh god. Oh. Just keep rolling down. We'll get to the bottom in no time. It looks like we've got you know another like I don't know a couple of hundred meters and then we're down. Oh. You just can't you can't ride them. No, you can't ride this. You can just survive this oh i'm down i'm down it's all right you're getting a lot of skills no i'm not getting any skills three two, two one, one go. go okay yeah i'll hold it steady and you can sit on it it's okay i can see the bottom it's not that far away not that far away I hate the trails in Wales, seriously, I hate them. I mean, look, look how steep that is. You probably can't see it on camera, but this is very, 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 very steep. I hate the rocks. I know. I hate the rocks too. I hate the rocks more. I hate steep, rocky downhills so much. I'm like absolutely bloody terrified, you know. Anyway, Oli said if he reached the bottom, he will come back and help me. But I will just keep going for now and see how it goes. But seriously, I'm, I'm terrified, you know. That's better. There's a big rock there. I mean, this bit looks like absolutely that looks. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. size of this log okay we made it down <laughs> we made it down the hill 
the only good thing about doing all of these like really really difficult tracks is that hopefully all the other roads around the world will be like a stroll in the park now <laughs> it's so difficult seriously is that difficult yes well shall conquer <laughs> thank you thank you wow look how big and beautiful these berries are oh wow look at this one <laughs> there's some lunch right there hey you get this one the nicest one uh, mm. Mm. it's like blackcurrant juice Oh no, where are they? <laughs> I dropped them in my helmet. Mm. Sorry, just a second. Mm. I love picking fruits. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yummy, hey? After some hard trail, it's nice to stop. Oh, need to burp. Sorry. After some hard trail, it is nice to stop in a nice little village and have a coffee and a giant fake Oreo. This village has a quite a peculiar name. It's called Ispiti Ifan. Now, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it properly, but that's what it says on the sign here. It talks about the history of this place. And apparently this was quite an important crossroads when traveling from London or Chester and heading over to Anglesey. This would have been a place where pilgrims and drovers and traders would have actually come. So in the 12th century, St. John's Knight set up a hospice here uh, for weary travelers to rest their heads. And I think that's where the name Ispiti comes from, like hospital. And then Ifan, I think must mean John. But anyway, it is a really lovely little village. So it's the perfect place have a little rest. Mm. That's a cracking biscuit. Mm. River crossing, let's go! <laughs> Guys, it looks like actually <laughs> I think we are leaving the mountainous area now, which I am actually super happy about. <laughs> Especially after having this breakdown this morning. Look, what is ahead here? It looks way more gentle, much more just like rolling hills as we head back towards England. I can't say that there won't be difficult trails still to come, but it is looking a lot more pleasant ahead <laughs> i mean it was fun as well obviously to challenge yourself to the max that you think you're gonna die every second <laughs> but i want to just have a little bit of, of a soft start in the morning you know like just some nice dirt roads like this one here a little bit challenging but actually like quite cool you know but i guess you have to do them all hey to find out you honestly don't know when you go into it what it's going to be like so yeah the trans euro trail is always a surprise I'm coming. Let's see if you can lift it up by yourself. Pull the handlebar first all the way in. 
That's it, push, push, push. Oh, so close. It's not even a rocky, difficult trail anymore. You've got no excuse. No excuse, Levy. This is just a nice, boggy, muddy <laughs> track. We are back in England, hey? Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. What's going on? Ah, uh, I wasn't. I think I wasn't in first gear. Oh my lord. It's a very good leg workout. Ah, oh, mamma mia. I'm hot. Ah. What is this? Like the cow security? Sorry, guys. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Gate number 129. <laughs> Enjoy the trail! <laughs> that was Dave there following a trail which I think was called the ACT. Oh my god, look at this puddle. Oh! Holy guacamole! <laughs> that was a pretty deep puddle. <laughs> I just saw you bouncing around in my mirror. Did you get your feet wet? Oh, you should have stayed with your feet on the pegs. Yes, we did it. There's our next paved road. Whew. Tell you what, sometimes it is quite nice to see this. I picked up a leaf along the way. <laughs> Can you believe it? I fell off on tarmac for a change. But it's not my fault. There was a little bunny rabbit that came out in front of me. So I just was like, break, break, and I slid. And I, he survived, luckily. I dropped my bike to save a bunny rabbit, okay? I'm a hero. You are three, two, one. Perfect. See my slide. Oh, wow. Ooh, all the way. The bunny was running in front of me, and I thought, that's fine. And he went off to the side. I thought, that's fine. But then, just before I passed, he just came back into the road. Inches from the front wheel. I was so close to just squishing him. Looks like we got a couple of vintage Vespa riders up ahead. Look at these guys with their, like, flags. And look at the mud flap with the checkered pattern on it. Nice. We're both so slow up the hills. Honestly, I don't know what's faster, an old Vespa or our bikes. This guy also has a wing mirror, like, at his foot. Which is kind of weird. If I remember pictures from the old mod times in the 1970s, it was all about loads of wing mirrors and flags and very elaborated bikes. Looks cool, though. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So we've taken a slight detour from the trail to go and visit a cool pass called Horseshoe Pass. And up here, there is also a cafe up on the top of the hill called the Ponderosa Cafe. I am quite hungry, so it would be nice to have a bacon sandwich. <laughs> we've already seen a lot of motorcyclists taking this road, so I think this is one of those biker passes. This is it. Ponderosa, yep. Loads of bikers out and about today. Nice. Hello. Hungry. We sit outside, hey? Oh, it's closed. Yeah, it's Oh, 4pm. Oh, no. Oh, we missed it by like 10 minutes. Oh, bugger. Cafe closed like 10 minutes ago. We just made it 
You just got you just got here. Oh. So seeing as the Ponderosa Cafe up here on the pass is closed, we've had to turn to Google to try and find a bacon sandwich. And actually there's a town on the other side of the pass, the direction we're going, called Langochlin. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that in the correct way. And this town has plenty of places to get a bite to eat. So we've picked one place called I think it's called the D D Side Cafe Bistro. And that place is open until 9 p.m. It's only 5.4 miles away. And now we get an awesome ride over the Horseshoe Pass to get there. What a nice scenic ride. It's a good change to bumbling along on the dirt roads, eh? Yeah, totally. Look at this view. Wow. Very pretty. Oh, coming over the pass. And here we can see where the pass gets its name from because the pass basically goes in a big horseshoe around this valley in front of us all the way around and down and along that way and it's a popular pass we saw loads of bikers up there at the top I think there's the canal there. Oh, nice. That was the Langochlin Canal. And that canal connects to the canals of England. So you can actually bring a narrow boat all the way from, I don't know, London, all the way to this canal right here in Langochlin. Maybe a future series? Oh, look at this. Beautiful. It's a very picturesque place. Oh, and the place we're stopping is just there. Deeside Cafe and Bistro. Let's see if there's uh, anywhere we can go with the bikes. Oh, it's like not the easiest place to park. <laughs> Do you want to go on the curb, like just on the pedestrian way? Let's go back, back on the main street. It all seems so perfect. There was a bacon sandwich on the menu in a beautiful location, but there's no parking. I'm just going to come up on the curb here, I think. There we go. Look at that executive parking. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Oh, what's your, what's your name? Mark. Mark, nice to meet you, Mark. Nice to meet you. Watch all your adventures. We, thank you. Yeah. You recognize the hair. <laughs> the good old Van Van Tay. Hey? What do you ride? Harley. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. 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 Somebody to pronounce that then. You can help me pronounce it. You can pronounce it? Yeah. Okay, go on then. Wow. <laughs> So it's not a bacon sandwich, but we just couldn't park close enough to the cafe over there. We managed to find this little spot here to park. And right next to it was a pizza place. This is a nice place to stop, have a little rest after both of us falling over today. So I'm excited for a pizza. All right, it is now 5.30 and we're coming to the end of our final full day in Wales because tomorrow we're going to be leaving and crossing the border back into England. I can't really believe that it's over already, but it was very difficult. Yeah, it took us about eight days to get from Dover to the beginning of Wales and I think we've now spent, what, nine or ten days in Wales? Yeah. So it's taken us quite a long time to actually make it through. Yeah, it was a lot of fighting. 
wells through everything at this. Yeah. Bad weather, bad trails. But epic views. If we ever want to settle down in the UK, I think Wales is the country. I'm really astounded how beautiful Wales is, how wild it is. And oh, yeah, it's a wild place. Yeah. It was a nice, nice challenge, that's for sure. But we have one more point of interest for the day before we head over to a campsite, and that is to see this massive aqueduct which is just behind this bush so you can't see it <laughs> wait a minute hello bonjour <laughs> oh there we go wow there it is yeah So this is the Pont Clesclesch Aqueduct. <laughs> I asked a lady in Langochlin if she could pronounce it for me so that I could get ready to show you guys. She said it's like Pont and then it's like Clechlit Clechlit Pont Yeah. Anyway, this is an aqueduct and on top of that aqueduct runs the Langochlin Canal. If you cross the canal from England to Wales, you'll pass over this amazing aqueduct. Cool. It's crazy to think there's actually a canal on that, I on know, that bridge. I know, I like, know. That can hold like massive 65, 70 feet boats. It's unbelievable. Very good construction, hey? Yeah. Good job, guys. Anyway, it's time to head and find a camp, hey? Let's pitch up our tent. Oh yeah. While the sun is shining. <laughs> so Oli just went off uh, to Aldi to get some supplies, some nice uh, things for tonight's dinner. So it's up to me to pitch up the tent. looking good oh I got a good haul this evening Santa's here got us some bread Yay. lightly seeded loaf lovely wild rocket Yay. lovely noodle packs Yay. potato salad Whoa. with some German frikadellen it's tonight's dinner some more cheese sausages for Woo. tomorrow's breakfast we're going all gourmet now and then I saw this it's like two liters of tropical fruit drink. I'm so thirsty and I saw it and it's so cold and, oh, can you get a cup? I really want to drink this right now. I want, I want. Oh. Bon appetitos. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look at that, it's a proper German dinner tonight. Good evening guys, we made it, happy and alive, yay. Well, I wasn't too happy this morning, but now I'm very happy knowing that the biggest mountains are far away now and we have passed the most difficult bit of the trail, hopefully. Yeah, it's getting flatter and flatter by the mile. And I just asked the campsite owner and we are now only two miles from the border of England. So Wales is officially done. We have conquered the trails or yes. at least most of them. <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> Some of them. But hey, we tried our best, hey? I mean, I think this is like the most important that you just go there, you try your best, and obviously you don't want to die on this trail. It's always the same story. Go in with an open mind, yeah. fall over, mm -hmm. turn around. <laughs> or try again, fall over again, and then again and again, until you're on the other side. So for now, we will just enjoy the last of the sunset. It looks pretty and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time